Leaf Clicker is a game you play for 2800 hours and then say, help me. They were trying to get a secret achievement, obtain the Moonstone Leaf, so now I am going to get it. First I need 10,000 regular leaves, so I pushed leaves away with my hands and used those leaves to buy a rake that pushes more leaves, and used those leaves to buy trees that drop more leaves, and used those leaves to create marketing for my leaves, buy my leaves to become immortal, and used those sails to buy a leaf blower to push more leaves, and used those leaves to buy nuclear fuel to blow more more leaves, and use those leaves to hire robots to blow leaves for me. Now my garden is surrounded by trees, leaves, and nuclear waste. I'm drawing the lore of this game myself because people get mad at me when I use AI art. Perfect. But I got my 10,000 leaves, unlocking leaf types. One of these is the moonstone leaf, but the first is golden leaves. Oh look, that one is. Nine gold leaves. I thought I'd keep getting more leaves until one of them is the moon leaf, but the gold leaf shop had an interesting upgrade. The leaf portal. Portals lead somewhere. The moon moon is somewhere. Therefore, there is a chance that the portal will lead straight to the moon, but I need a million gold leaves to open it. I can't do another ad. I got sued for false advertising, so instead I bought leaf combo. If I blow leaves in quick succession, all leaves are worth twice as much. And use those leaves to pay the lawsuit and go back to making ads that are truthful. Buy my gold leaves and you'll walk on water. I might be lying and that'll make people mad, but people need something to get their anger out on. It made me rich, so I bought a nuclear powered leaf blower. It blows more leaves and the radioactivity gives me fun mutations like x-ray vision. Wait, no, my skin is just melting off of my bones. A few minutes later, I had the million gold leaves. I bought the leaf portal. I hope this sends me to the moon. Come on. No, this is a garden, but it isn't mine. I could be in any garden on the planet. I didn't think this through. Wait, it's my neighbor's garden. The dimension Dimensional portal traveled me directly next door to my neighbor's garden. It's not quite the moon, but it's a start. They've got trees and a house, of course. Oh, I forgot my house. Well, it's more of a tent. I spent all my money on leaf blowers. I don't think moonstone is in either of our gardens. So my next goal is to go outside the town and look for moonstone in the mountain. But I live in an authoritarian prison camp, and the only way out is bribing the guards. Luckily, my neighbor has platinum trees that grow platinum leaves. I need 10 million platinum leaves to bribe them. Oh, an enemy. Maybe I can hit it with a leaf. Oh, sniped. It did hardly any damage. Maybe I should leave them alone. Just kidding, I've got a leaf blow with more power. Attack! Alright, the main mission is moon leaf, but side mission is that I want to kill. I should be farming leaves, but why does my neighbor have all these creatures? The law says my neighbor is called Bob. Wait, no, I had it backwards. His name is Bob. This morning, he was stopped by armed guards, flashed his red badge, and went inside a dark cavern. So I don't fully trust him. I can almost bribe the guard, but not until I defeat an enemy. I can't afford any of the swords, but I can afford slap force and a trout. Slap! Get wrecked. Alright, there's a cooldown, and then slap! I don't deal enough to kill them. So instead, I bought a minigun to blow leaves harder. Still can't kill them. Well, no murder today. Yet. I paid the guards and left my neighborhood. My theory is that at some point, a meteorite hit the moon, and a piece broke off that fell down to earth, crashing somewhere high up. So I went from my neighbor's garden to the mountains. Here, there are moose, more ALBs, and pride leaves. I've used my hands, a rake, a leaf blower, and a minigun. It's time we evolve to the large paint roller, the most effective thing so far at clearing leaves, giving me over 20 million basic leaves. I can finally buy ALB enemy bumper. Charge! It's doing absolutely no damage. There are no moonstones up here. I don't know where else to go. I could go back through the leaf portal. Maybe it'll lead somewhere different. Hopefully somewhere with less gravity. As I went through, I thought about the gold leaves being nine instead of one. Something that you don't need to remember. And on the other side of the portal, I found myself in space. It worked. I've done it. Wait, no, I'm in space, but there's no moon here. I'm just somewhere in space. Huh. So after real Realizing the mountains have no moon leaves, I went through a portal to get straight to space itself. I missed the moon, but I know it's around here somewhere. It's surprising I'm able to hold my breath this long, but it's more surprising there are so many leaves in space, including the cosmic leaf, allowing me to buy leaf damage. So I went back through the portal to my neighbor's garden and bought a rocket engine to blow leaves at enemies like shurikens being thrown at cheese by a cannon. I spotted a bee and set out to end their species so no flowers are pollinated, all fruit trees die, and the only thing people can 
eat is cookies. It's all for cookie clicker. I still don't have enough damage to kill a single bee. I returned to space looking for moon leaves. I kept going deeper into space, propelling myself with leaf blowers. No matter how far I went, I couldn't find the moon. I traveled until I reached the end of space itself and entered the great nothingness, the void. There is nothing here but me and leaves. I've gone everywhere in the universe and still not found a moonstone leaf. Most people would give up here since I've explored the entire physical universe, but I haven't explored the depths of my own brain. If I can't find the moon, I will create the moon. I've researched the chemical composition of the moon. I will become a scientist and make it myself. With enough void leaves, I can compress them to make a red flask. With enough red flasks, I can create green flasks. But I don't actually know that much about the moon. I should do some research. Here's a panel of scientists discussing it. How many moons does the Earth have? The Earth has one moon which is made of cheese. Oh! The answer is that there are two moons. One is the one we know called the moon. The other is called Kruisne. It's three miles across and orbits the world every 770 years. I've already checked the entire universe and found neither. My research is actually getting close. But first I bought 10 out of 10 slap force. Time to die, frog. No, I ran out of time. Don't mind that I'm going between my neighbor's garden and beyond the void of space. I'm sure Bob has this portal for a good reason. But I have finally created black flasks. You know what this means? I don't. I don't know what any of these flasks do. I think I've just created colored water. This isn't gonna make a moon. But then I saw something very interesting in the black flask shop. The big leaf portal. If the leaf portal is about the size of a car, the big leaf portal is the size of the observable universe. It'll give me one big leaf coin and send me somewhere new. Maybe to a universe where the moon actually exists. So from my garden to Bob's house and up the mountains, to exploring all of space and even outside of space itself, I now go through a great portal that leads back to the beginning. I have to do all that over again. At least I can buy upgrades using big leaf coins. Wait, no, I only got one coin. Fuck! So I got gold leaves, traveled to space with a paint roller so I can conduct illegal experiments, and after two hours, I'm back to making black science. But instead of going through the portal, I'll keep going beyond what I thought was possible. I'll do something every other scientist is afraid to do. Put everything together at once to see what happens. All the flasks combine to make a strange flask. Well, this isn't moonstone, but it does look tasty. So I drank it and watched more moon scientists. How many moons does the Earth have? Two. Oh! We did this last series. Yes, but Anna, that was last year. There have been like... three more discovered. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't like science anymore. I may have traveled through the entire universe and beyond into the limitless space, and you'd think that's everywhere I can search for the moon, but I haven't traveled to hell. In the abyss, they like to party, so I gave them 25,000 of my strange flasks and they let me in. Existing outside of our 3D universe is the devil's domain. If the devil knows where the moon is, maybe I can make a deal with him. Not like the Christian devil or anything from a real religion. The fictional leaf first devil. People get mad at me when I talk about religion. Almost as mad as AI art. In the abyss, I unlocked a new type of leaf, exotic. The devil only sees people that have a million of them. So I created a new ad. Buy my exotic leaves to join the Roman Empire. All the men bought it. Now that I have 20 million leaves from hell itself and 3 trillion basic leaves, I have finally earned my farming certificate. And if I went through the big portal now, I would get 47,000 BLCs. Why did I do it with one? Anyway, I can now, in this game about blowing leaves, speak with the devil. Where is the moon? What the hell are you talking about? Hey. hey! No, but seriously, I don't know. But I know someone who does. First, you have to do something for me. Commit a sin. Ah, so murder? Not like any sin. You can steal. Or murder. Even just lust. Just think of some big deal. Murder! I went back to my neighbor's garden, equipped a trout, made a resume, applied for a job at Amazon, and gave this bee an express delivery to hell! I finally killed an enemy. Now for the moon. I have done your bidding. Well done. The one who knows the location of the moon is up there. But I still need 100,000 BLC to get there. Luckily, I can prestige for that many. Back through the big leaf portal and I spent the coins to make my science faster. My leaves are worth 20 times more and my combo is 18 times better. And now, I just spent all the coins, didn't I? I can't get to the next area. Damn it. All right, speed run to see how fast I can get back to 100,000 BLC. In four minutes, I was conducting
hunting black giants. At 8 minutes, I got lost and went through the regular leaf portal. In under 20 minutes, I had 400k BLC. So I went through to another reality, played the game all over again, and now, after traveling through the entire universe and the depths of hell twice, the devil pointed me to the one person who knows where the moon is, within the celestial plane. When I woke up in my tent this morning, I didn't think I'd travel through the entire universe into hell and now heaven. Surely an omniscient god will tell me where the moon is hiding so I can stop blowing leaves. Again, no god from religions. The leaf god. You can't get mad at me. I blew heavenly leaves all over the place searching, but I couldn't find god. Then I brought out my minigun. What are you doing? Oh my god, stop! Hey. hey. By the way, do you know where the moon is? I've been looking for a while. Oh yeah, it's on top of the- Wait a second. I see sin in your heart. No, I'm good. You committed evil. Fa you lied to your audience. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell them the truth. Well, do you remember when I told you not to remember me getting nine leaves instead of one? I've been blowing leaves for a lot longer than you thought. Within Leaf Clicker, there are challenges, where you clone yourself and the clone goes on another leaf blowing adventure in another universe with an added challenge for a bonus. Here, I had to reach heaven without any auto buyers, but I got some extra leaf gains. You've been watching a clone the entire time, and if I return to the main game, you'll see my true form. I'm underwater, have a health bar that's dying, a pet fox, and 5 billion BLC. In this original timeline, everything went the same as you saw, except God did tell me where the moon is. Oh, there was another man here looking for the moon. A man named Bob? No, that's backwards. It was Bob. He took the moon. Damn it, that would explain the leaf portals. I went to congratulate Bob with my minigun, but he wasn't home. Hey, so where can I find Bob now? Well, you've already searched the entire universe, but you haven't searched at every time in the universe. So God threw me back to the beginning of time itself. It was very empty. I waited 9 billion years until the Earth formed. I found myself in the Garden of Eden. I mean, an unspecified mythical garden. Now let's run through the lore a bit quicker. From the garden I saw a plume of smoke. It was a great volcano. I farmed lava leaves, fought a golem, escaped through a door in the volcano which turned out to be an abandoned research station with ice leaves. One of the ice leaves came to life and attacked me. I broke through the floor of the station and fell into water. Oh, that's where I am now. And I'm going to drown unless I get a million obsidian leaves to build a staircase out of here. The next step should be obvious. Go into your artifacts bag and summon a gravity ball that creates a singularity in the center of the screen merging all the leaves into obsidian. Remove all the basic leaves and repeat a few times until almost all the leaves are obsidian. Now use a rake to push them close to the edge, equip a powerful leaf blower and push them all off at once to stack them up in a tower to climb out of the water, making my way to a harbor. You can read the lore, I made none of that up. Leaf Sink Harbor is a fishing town, houses pubs, nothing out of the ordinary, except a gigantic black tower in the center. Lightning clouds surround the peak, and it says, Bob, I have to do everything possible to get inside. So I equipped the bear pet and told him to bash the door down. This is it, the final area before the moon. I just have to reach the top and fight Bob. Each floor, there are 10 enemies to kill to get to the next floor. Bob is on floor 100. The first floor has a bunch of frogs. I killed one and it dropped a silver token. Then I got killed by a frog that did 600 damage. I have 593 health. I can get more health by drinking experimental liquids. This may seem dangerous, but I made them so no one can sue me. I am in no legal danger, and physical danger increases adrenaline, making me stronger. There are no downsides here. So I went back in with 610 health. I killed more frogs to get silver tokens, but one of them fought back. I lost most of my health, but I have enough regen to get it back. I can survive the tower. It'd be a real shame if two frogs attacked at the si Ah, rip. I went back and started aiming my leaves better at the enemies. I made it to floor two. These frogs give two silver tokens each, but deal 660 damage and one shot me, sending me all the way back to my home guard. I need more damage, but all the upgrades are so expensive. Luckily, I have a new way of farming leaves. That farming certificate I got allows me to collect seeds, which give you a percentage of the leaves you already have. So if I had a million leaves, one seed would give me 1.1 million, another seed is 1.21 million, and each seed gives more and more until instead of having 1 million basic leaves, I have 1 jabillion. And golden leaves, I have 1 fucktillion, giving me leaf damage, but it's not enough. Luckily, I also unlock the trading menu. I can convert my leaves into other things like beer and cheese, and I can use that cheese in the crafting menu. I play a timing game and craft a platinum leaf, which gives me increased converter crit value. Right, this converter has run 260,000 times, and crit never. That was a waste. But luckily, I crafted a different leaf that gives 2,000 leaf damage and 40% more health. 
myself, I went back to the leaf tower and died on floor two. So I created another leaf, I hit it perfectly, and it gives 66 damage resistance. I still died on floor two. But luckily, I have more artifacts, like wind, which makes all leaves instantly spawn back, giving me infinite ammo to attack the frog. But it only lasts five seconds, so I did it again, making it to floor three, and then I died. I'm not getting very far. So I bought more chance makers to increase my luck, and then luckily, I found another way to boost my stats. The clone challenge I did before, if I do another one, I can spend challenge points to increase my damage. I'm doing the bingo challenge. You start the game again and have to fill out any row or column of the bingo card to win. The fun part is you get cheese every couple of seconds to make it faster. The not fun bit is that cheese has no use until late game. So I ended up playing through the entire game until I got to the big leaf portal and had to do that six times in a row. But the challenge points can only be spent in an area that costs 300 cheese to unlock and on my main profile I don't get the cheese. Luckily, the scientific community has new information. Once and for all, how many moons does the Earth have? Nobody knows. We thought there were two, and then we said, oh no, it's five. Now we have about 18,000 moons. Nothing is real, science is a lie, the moon is fake. But luckily, I have a crab, Brabo. He will stabbo the enemy. I'm going full attack mode. I have no regard for my own safety. It's going great. I'm getting up floors with Crabbo's extra damage. They don't seem to be attacking me as often. Are they scared? Wait, what if I let this frog run out of time and then I take damage? Oh my God, I'm a moron. I only take damage if they time out. So buying health and damage resistance are pointless if I just get damage. So I bought damage upgrades and crafted damage leave. Finally, I can fight the first boss. Fight a big frog, now we're running to the law. Not enough damage. But that run gave me enough silver tokens to buy 5,000 damage and I killed the frog, getting my first gold token. And now there's somewhere else I can go. I've already been through the entire universe and afterlife dimensions and the beginning of time, but I haven't been to the pub. The cheese pub is a bar in Leaf Sink Harbor, just outside the Leaf Tower. It has arcade machines, a slot machine, a bartender, drinks, a cookie. But most importantly, have you noticed? There aren't any leaves here. I can just relax and play arcade games and lose. I can just sit back and play in a slot machine and lose. I can even play cheese golf. It's so calm here. I could just stay away from the leaves. I'd be free, but I'm not on the moon. I've come this far. I've blown leaves for the past few weeks of my life. I avoided AI art and drew this. I have to finish what I started. Bob, I'm gonna fucking kill you. To make sure I beat the floor 20 boss, I used wind and a gravity ball, causing an implosion that killed the boss instantly, giving me 10 gold tokens, allowing me to bring my ALBs into the tower and equip them with swords to stab my enemies. They took down a giant rabbit on floor 30. The fourth boss is a crab, but leaf blowing will only take you so far. It's time to return to the slap. The high tech trout one shots these enemies. My ALBs shot leaves and I slapped my way to floor 50. I slapped the lobster and my ALBs poked at it. Floor 60 was a yeti. I kept using the tokens to buy more upgrades for more damage. Floor 70 was Bob's pet Cthulhu. Why do you have that? Floor 80 was a fire breathing dragon. Bob really wants to defend himself, but I slapped it. Floor 90, the final boss before Bob. I'm losing. Until I use wind, I won. Floor 97, 98, I'm almost there. But I have to use wind to even get past the regular floors now. I'll be one shot if any of them despawn. There are leaves everywhere. I can barely see what's happening. There he is, my neighbor, an almighty dimension shifting wizard powered by leaves. No, I can't use artifacts against him. I have to beat him myself. I ran around the tower trying to blow leaves directly at him. It's not enough. Slap! I'll slap him to death. I lost. Bob is too powerful. I came all this way. I just want to stop. Wait, it didn't send me back to my garden. This is Bob's garden. So I equipped the bear pet and got him to break down the door. Maybe I can find Bob's weakness or a clue or something in here. No, it's just filled with leaves. Of course. Wait, there's a cup here. The game calls it Carpenter's Cup. It seems to blow leaves all right. I went to ask the devil about it, but he avoided me. I asked God and he threw me out of heaven. So I went back to the tower and started climbing again, holding the cup. And eventually a new leaf spawned in the center of the screen, a leaf emitting golden light. I blew it away and it's called the holy leaf. Does that mean I checked my blower menu and found the carpenter cup has been upgraded to the holy grail. The holy grail is the cup Jesus Christ drank from before he died. I told you I would lie in this video to let people get angry. Do you remember my advertisements? Buy my leaves to become immortal. You'll walk on water to join the Roman Empire. The entire time I said the person who used the power of the leaves was Jesus Christ. 
price. None of my advertisements were lies. And these images are AI generated, bitch. And this game isn't even called Leap Clicker. I lied about the title the entire time. Dislike, unsubscribe, hate me. I want to finish this. Bob is the son of God. I am Long Linus, the man who kills Jesus. Bob, I end thy reign and take ownership of the moon. I've done it. And behind Bob's body, I saw a green light. The mega leaf portal. I went through the portal. And then on the other side of the portal, I found myself on the moon. There, a moonstone leaf. I've done it. Wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing. The scientific community made one more discovery. How many moons does the Earth have? Oh, God. None. Which is to say that the moon is not a moon. <laughs> the Earth doesn't have a moon at all. So there. Mother 